Most university economists tell you to allocate overhead costs proportionately back to the enterprises that incurred those costs. It seems logical, but it can be bad advice. Here's why. Let's say I have hay and cattle enterprises. My cattle gross margin is $35,000. My hay gross margin is $30,000. I rent pasture for $15,000, and I rent my hay ground for $15,000 too. If I stopped either enterprise, I'd let go of the lease and I'd lose the cost. I also have a pickup truck. I use it half in the farm and half with the cattle. I'm going to split it 50-50 like the university experts tell me to do. Interest, depreciation, repairs, operating costs, it adds up. In this case, it adds up to about $14,000 a year. So I follow the experts' advice, split the cost in half, allocating $7,000 to the livestock and $7,000 to the hay. Now I pay myself $20,000 a year, and I'm worth every penny of it. So I work half in the cattle, half in the hay, I'm going to split that cost too. $10,000 to cows, $10,000 to hay. Now let's do the math. $15,000 for rent, $7,000 for the pickup, and $10,000 for labor. That's $32,000 of overheads. $35,000 is the cattle gross margin. Minus the $32,000 of overheads I allocated to that enterprise, my cattle enterprise made a $3,000 profit. Let's see how the hay did. $15,000 plus $7,000 plus $10,000 is still $32,000. But this time we're subtracting it from the gross margin of $30,000. That's negative $2,000. The hay enterprise made a $2,000 loss. Now overall my business made a profit of $1,000. What do you think I had to do to increase my profit? Well most people say stop haying. Well that sounds reasonable. After all the hay enterprise is losing money. If I get rid of the hay, I no longer have to pay that rent but I still have the pickup. Will the bank let me pay only half of the interest now that I use the truck only half of the time? I don't think so. The livestock have to pick up the full cost of that truck. Total overhead costs now are $39,000, turning our $1,000 business profit into a $4,000 loss. Following the expert's advice, allocating shared overheads proportionately between enterprises led us to a costly decision. The experts are wrong. The only time you allocate overheads to one part of the business or another is if you'd lose the cost completely if you discontinued that part of the business. It's 100% or nothing, at least if you're ranching for profit.